call that man a doctor. We appreciate y'all coming. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Got a lot of surprises. So sit tight. We'll be back in a few. Kick it. Jason Robards once said to me, or was it Harvey Corman? Well, whoever. He said, some people were born to act, some people learn to act, and then there are people like you. God, I was touched by that. The point is, I took those words to heart. And it wasn't long after that that I landed my breakthrough role in Friday the 13th. Let's take a look at my performance, shall we? Thanks, thank you. Thanks a lot. But you know, that took more than talent. That's a little something called skill. That's technique. You're down on the knee, and you're over at the throwback of the shoulder, and you're looking, and it's a single tear, and we're out. Okay, let's try some simple exercises, shall we? Up on your feet, come on. Line up. Okay, we're hailing a cab. Come on, people, you want that taxi? It's ringing out! Yes! All right, dialing a phone. Rotary. Yeah, okay, push button. All right, all right. Calling the elevator. I didn't say up or down, did I? Let's be specific, people. That is the key. Uh... Spray and wipe. Yeah. What? Bernie swore to me I'd get that roll. The only thing on the shot was my hand. What do you mean I look bitter? Look, how many ways are there to stir dog food? I, I want to talk to Bernie. Are you going to be off the phone soon? Because we Look, you're going to get your $15 worth. Why don't you show him that clip of me in the movie of the week? The, uh, the love scene. Okay. Yeah. He's in a meeting with who? Joanne Worley. Oh, my. I bet she's a hot property now, huh? Out of my way, bitch. Well, I'm calling back in 20 minutes, and Bernie better take my call. Hello? Hello? All right, this isn't a coffee break, people. Up on your feet. Okay, we're gonna drill these brush backs. Now let's go. Concentrate, concentrate. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, no, no, you people. 
people are pathetic. Let's do it one couple at a time. You and you. The rest of you sit down. Focus. Out my way, bitch. You call that a fall, princess? You better stay right there on the floor, because that's the only way you're going to get a roll. Let's do our homework, shall we? Who is this woman? Uh... Uh, she's somebody I just got out of my way. Yes, of course, on the surface. But who is she really? I mean, what's her moment before? What makes her tick? How does she feel about being pushed out of the way by this guy? About being treated like something he stepped in after she took him into her apartment, into her bed? And what did he leave her? Nothing but that cold sore that took me two weeks at the free clinic just to get rid of! <laughs> Look, obviously we're just not ready for this sort of intensive work right now. Let's move on to something simpler, shall we? Um, I'm sorry, Magenta, but I have to go now. You have to go now? Mm-hmm. This is only the most important class of your career. What, have you got a hot date? Uh, no, actually, I have an acting job. Oh, she's got an acting job. Tina Louise has an acting job. What sort of job could you get? Well, it's not much. All I have to do is stir a bowl of dog food. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. How did you get that part? You must have put out for the director. about the technique. That's what Artie Corbin was talking about. Or was it, uh, Chad Everett? Uh, uh, who, who played Mannix? Uh, Calvin Lockhart. No. Uh, uh, class dismissed. The following is a paid announcement by the Foundation for Goff Heritage. The views presented are not those of this station. Hi, I'm G.D. Bud Simmons, membership chairman of the Show Creek Country Club here in Birmingham, Alabama. In recent weeks, we have received some negative publicity. The PGA refused to let us host a major tournament because we have no black members. Now, what we have here is a failure to communicate. As you can see, there has always been a place for blacks at our club as long as they're not holding one. Golf has always been a white game. It was invented by a white man in Scotland 200 years ago. If God had meant for blacks to play golf, he wouldn't have made it so expensive. Let us have our game. After all, we didn't complain when the Negroes took over basketball. Some other clubs have admitted black members and their results have been a mind disturbing. Here is some film we shot in a recent trip to a formerly all-white club near Atlanta. Golf Heritage will send you 
one of our bumper stickers. We don't eat our greens. We play on them. You know, I don't usually go on blind dates, but I'm really glad Susan fixed us up. So you think this is a good idea, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have a great time. You didn't think you would? No, I thought I'd have a great time. Oh, okay. yeah. You know, you're a lot prettier than Susan said you would be. Oh. What do you mean? Did she say I was ugly? No, no, she didn't say you were ugly. Oh, she said okay. you had beautiful eyes. Oh. I agree with her. Oh. Well, um, well, what else did she say? She said I was fat, didn't she? No, she didn't say you yeah. were fat. She said you were a court stenographer. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is kind of an odd career. I mean, I've never heard of anybody. What? Do you think I'm stupid? No, no, I don't think you're stupid. I just think that that's, you know, an interesting career for someone as beautiful and as intelligent uh, as uh, yourself. Oh, uh, 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 you think I'm you too know, brainy. No, you, no, you, I don't you think, think you're I'm a nerd like Urkel on Family Matters. Urkel on Family Matters. You didn't say it. No, 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 so, uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I work for Jet Magazine. I just got the cover. You know, so you weren't even going to offer me that one more time, the popcorn? What, you, you think you have a weight problem, don't you? No, I don't. This is pants. I look really fat in no, these pants, don't I? No, you don't look great. Well, you, well, you look skinny. Oh. I, mean, I mean, not skinny, skinny. I mean, slim, you know. Nice body. Not like, not like I'm into that or anything. You know, but... You exist. You think I have a really big face, don't you? No, I don't think you have a big face. Yeah, no, you have a beautiful face. Your nose like a button. Look at that. Your feet, nice and small, perfect like a concubine. Look at your arm. Perfect. Look at that balance. Look. Look at the balance. Look at that. You're perfect. Look at your torso. Perfect, girl. You are perfect. You didn't say anything about my neck. Your neck and clavicle are perfect. You know, I'm really glad we chose this movie. I love Meryl Streep. I think she's prettier than I am, don't you? <laughs> she's a lot, a lot prettier. I don't think she's prettier than... No, yeah, you're the prettiest. Look in the theater. No, you are the prettiest one here. Look around you. You're pretty. I'm telling you, girl, you're the one. <laughs> Can we watch the movie? Are you ready? Yeah. I don't even know her, all right? I don't even know you, all right? And not that I don't want to get to know you. I mean, you got a nice chest. I like your chest. You got a nice chest. You got big, bodacious tatas, all right? Call a cab, find some help. Have some popcorn. I'm out of here. Can you believe that guy dumped me just because I have a little weight problem? Can you... Do you think I look fat in these jeans? I know you didn't say...
you forgot my birthday. Oh, now, honey, you know he always surprises you. Maybe you'll have to present in the kitchen like he did last year. You think so? Well, sure. Let's go keep it up. special report. The Billy D. Williams look-alike bandit has escaped. Do not repeat. Do not let anyone into your home who looks like Billy D. Williams. We now return to your regularly scheduled program. I can't believe it. Totally dissed on my birthday. Oh, now, honey. That's what she penny-pinching Cuban tight wise. <laughs> Well, do you want my arm to fall off? Oh, my goodness. How do you do, I'm Ethel Mertz. Charmed to meet you. Well, Ethel, I wish you could stay, but sorry, you gotta go see that doctor. Well, I don't have to go to my doctor. You do now. So, so did Vicky send you to surprise me? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Richie sent me here to surprise you. Ooh, ooh, well, Billy, you gotta see my Diana Ross act. I do all the great scenes for Mahogany and Star. Well, uh, be honest, Fajita. That's Laquita. All right, so you sit back, take a chill pill, kick off your shoes, relax. I'm going to go get ready, okay? All right. Take your time, Laguna. I thought she was very good. Um, my really? pleasure meeting you, Laquita. But we already met. I would have remembered meeting someone like you, as someone as charming as you. That's true. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to uh, clean up a little bit. Oh, right through here, Billy. Yeah. Just use anything you like. Thank you. Billy! Billy! How'd you get there? Uh... The bottom, he let me in. I thought I told you to relax. Right, yeah, right. take your coat off. Sure, sure. Okay? Yeah. Good. Look, Rita, can I talk to you in the kitchen? Now? Oh, are you gonna believe this clown? Look at him. He doesn't have any class. Class? <laughs> Buddy, you wouldn't know class if it walked up and bit you on the behind. Freeze! Everybody! All right, we got the bandit corner. Yes, yeah, Sarge, but which one's the imposter? Wait a minute! I know who the imposter is! Ow! Because if anybody know Billy D, it's me. <laughs> All right, you, step up. It's snowing, you making a speech, 
and Diana Ross is hiding in the crowd. Now go. Madam, would you be willing to put your imagination to work on behalf of the cause that your man's fighting for? Yes! Madam, will you love and cherish him for the rest of his life? Yes! If you're willing to do all of that, then I guarantee that you'll get your man back. <laughs> Just who your criminal is. This is him. All right, folks, can you go with us? Oh, wait, wait, hold, hold your horses, gentlemen. Uh, the queen is forgetting the end of that scene. Is that so?